What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Daddy Mac and Sorry about that. Welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Galaxy Wolf, YT, who apparently also has a YouTube channel. I actually found him randomly on my passerby. I mean, I requested a link battle and he came in. So shout out to Galaxy Wolf. Make sure you guys go check out his channel if you guys um, ever have or have not. So shout out to Galaxy Wolf. He's bringing a really cool team with the Sand Slash, the Lycan Rock, the Toxicity, Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard. So I feel like it's a little bit of a Sun team um, to an extent. Because if he brings in the Venusaur and Charizard, he probably has Clearfoil somewhere in there. Galaxy Wolf, thank you so much for that battle. It was a good battle. You need I do admit, you might need a little bit of practice or research, but you, you did pretty well. I'm taking a lead card. Okay, we're going to switch it up we're gonna find another opponent we'll be right back okay so we managed to find another opponent here steven which reminds me of steven universe because of little stars i love that show to be honest i haven't watched it in a long long time and i would say years but it's still an amazing show you guys should watch it if you haven't already steven's bringing a really cool team another charizard another lycanroc really cool i haven't seen a vaporeon in a long time so expect to see um acid armor shenanigans maybe um Appleton is a little bit cool to see. Raichu is. His team is awesome. His team is awesome. Who is he going to start with? I have no clue. Um, because of that, we're just going to stick to our normal lead with Dusclops. Depending on who he switches into, then we're just going to go from there. So, Dusclops it is. What is Steven going to bring first? Make your predictions on the comment section down below. That reminds me. Make sure you guys leave a like. Comment down below on MVP for the last battle and this battle. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. I got something on my chest right here. I don't know what it was, but it was really weird. I like your unit. I, I, I almost said I like your universe, but that's not what I wanted. I like your outfit, Steven. Okay, so Lycan Rocket is probably going to set up the Stealth Rock. Um, which I really don't mind, to be honest. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp right off the bat. We're just gonna Willow Wisp. If he care if he's packing the crunch, then he packs the crunch. I'm gonna at least try to get a burn on this boy. The stadium, look at this. I don't remember playing in, in um what is this? It's the glowing mushrooms town. I don't know. I don't remember the name of the town. Willow Wisp, and we managed to hit. Okay, so th that's a really good trade-off. I I don't mind taking that to be honest. The next Pokemon we want to try to burn is gonna be the Snorlax. Um what other Pokemon do we want to try to burn? Snorlax. That's it. That's it. You did your... Kind of. Not really. You're not done yet, Dusclops, if that's what you're thinking. I'm going to Nightshade here. He's going to go for a Crunch. We should be able to take a few of those. Easy, boys. Easy. No defensive drop, luckily. And Nightshade will do the job. So, quick update. I'm trying to breed a Shiny Squirtle. I'm... A Still at 1,900 eggs, but I'm so burnt out from breeding, boys. I am so burnt out from breeding. And I got the shiny charm. And I also have, um, I four and ditto with my, I think it's my Squirtle or someone. I, I think I traded somebody's. I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? I'm at 1,900 eggs. And that's why I honestly have not bred very much ever since I hit the 1,900 mark, to be honest with you guys. I'm going to Nightshade here. I'm gonna Nightshade. Crunch again. We're just exchanging the same moves, and I'm sorry about this, but I think it's the best play for us right now. If the defensive drop goes, doesn't matter. I was gonna switch next turn anyways. What a way to slowly whittle them down. Lycanroc goes down. Kinda just ex exchanged uh, blows back and forth. I really like your outfit, Steven. Your shoes are pretty lit. Your ripped jeans are pretty nice. Your belts, they probably, is that a belt? I can't see. What do you got over there? Let me see. Okay, Vaporeon comes out. A little bit new to me. I'm honestly going to go a Rock when it and hope it doesn't burn Scald me. Because I've had really bad luck lately with those uh, Scald burns. A Rock when it comes out. Scald. Scald. Oh, we do 25. We lose 25%. How? I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Okay. At least there's no defensive drop. I kind of want to go Leech Life, to be honest. I'm going to Leech Life here. This is probably an Assault Vest Vaporeon, given that it's running sh uh, Shadow Ball. If he switches Charizard, it's not the end of the world. It's, it goes Charizard. It's not the end of the world. 
I obviously don't want to go Berserker. I think this is a special Charizard, though, so we're going to go Hatterene next. We're going to go Hatterene. I was going to go for the Water-type attack, but I don't want to play too, too aggressive yet. Hatterene is next. And I think we're going to Dynamax and hit this thing with an Expanding... Or not Expanding Force, a Max Mindstorm. Maybe the Fairy-type attack to put it to confuse it, but I don't know yet. Are you going to Dynamax? Fly? I called it before when I found out that they cut out the moves. Um, well, some moves. And saw that fly and uh, dive and all those attacks are at TMs. I called it and said that they're probably going to... I, I honestly like running those type of moves. I, I haven't done it since Sword and Shield started, but they're actually kind of beneficial because it burns a turn to Dynamax for free, which is kind of crucial sometimes. Fly is going to attack us. I haven't seen the fly animation in a long time. That's really cool. Okay. I'm honestly just going to rest. We should be able to take some attacks from this Charizard. Drink some water because my throat is dry. Delicious, nutritious water. Keep hydrated, boys. We should be able to take that also, right? We're taking it. That is what I'm talking about, Dusclops. Okay. He has the fly. He has some fi uh, He has a fire type attack, a special fire type attack, which kind of makes a difference. Do I want a Hatterene? What is my what's um what's my defense? I know it's not as high. One fifteen, which is not it's not great. It's not great. A, a little bit, a little bit, not too much. I'm kind of stuck, to be honest. I'm kind of stuck. Um, I can go high dragon. I think that's a move. We're gonna go high dragon here. I don't think he has any fairy types. I will double switch up uh, or not double switch. I will double check. That was a weird shot there. <laughs> that was a really weird shot. He's gonna go fly again. Flamethrower. Okay. We resist it. We're honestly safe to go Draco. I didn't click Draco, did I? We'll take it. The Drake. Oh my goodness. I am screaming right now. I am so mad. I, I went down meaning to go up for some reason. <laughs> my high dragon would have been perfectly okay. It's a crit, so at least it gives me that, but I don't need the crit. Thank you, though. Thank you. I am so upset. I misclicked really bad. I misclicked. My dragon's gonna have to go down at this point. I did want to keep him around for the Appleton and for the Vaporeon, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen, to be honest. Vaporeon comes out. I don't think it outspeeds us. Um, we can't switch because of the Stealth Rock, though, so we're gonna Dark Pulse again. This, I have a really good feeling it's a, it's a Salt Vested. Well, this will confirm it. It's not a Salt Vested, unless we're too strong for it. What are you running, Leftovers? I don't think we did any damage to it earlier, so we can't really tell. Um, I'm free to go Araquanid and go for the Leech Life at this point, right? I think that's a yes. So we're going to go Araquanid. Alright, here comes Araquanid. We're honestly going to Leech Life here. We should be 100% okay going with, for the Leech Life. If he switches Raichu next turn, I'm okay with that, to be honest. Because we should be able to take at least one Thunderbolt. And then just sweep his... Try to sweep his team with the Leech Life at that. What are you going to do? Honestly, I'm kind of proud of this team. Because we've... In total, I've done three Wi-Fi battles. Two which we did today. One for a practice to see how this team performs. And I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud of it. It's a crit! It's a crit! Leech Life should knock it out. And it's going to give us some health back. Honestly, I don't think we can outspeed, or obviously we're not going to outspeed a Raichu. I don't think we'll be able to live and attack from the Raichu. If we're taking, if we're not able to take, or let me rephrase that. If we're beat, if, I can't talk. <laughs> Slow down. If we're not taking Shadow Balls as well, we probably won't be able to take any attacks from these other Pokemon that well. I'm going to Leech Life again. I have to. I really have to. I'm taking a lot of damage. 
Body slam might do the trick. It does. I'm okay going Berserker, to be honest. I got the close combat. He has the Appleton and the um, Raichu in the back is the only thing I'm worried about. And now, I was a little confused because the music went blank for a moment. I think I close combat or U-turn. What do I do? I'm going to U-turn. I'm going to U-turn here. I think that's the safest play. We're going to U-turn here. We, we show him that we outspeed the Snorlax. Rocky Helmet. Wow, this is a defensive Snorlax. Defensive Snorlax is out. Um, honestly, we're going to go Dusclops. And we're going to burn this thing just to whittle it down. If it has rest, it has rest. We'll try to knock it out later. But what are you going to do to us, Snorlax? Body Slam. Earthquake. Wow. That's, that's good. That's not bad. I'll give you all the props in the world right now. Um, I'm still going to Will-O-Wisp, though. I think it's crucial that we Will-O-Wisp. Heavy Slam. I think it's way heavier than us. But we should still be able to take some. All right, we're gonna be asleep for this last turn right here, and then hopefully we land this with Lewis. And I say hopefully, I know I have a really good chance to land, but I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. Heavy slam comes out. We're still sleeping, boys. Come on, Dusclops, wake up, my boy. You can't stay sleeping forever. Heavy slam again. And then, Wake up. There you go. Full of wisp. Okay. We should be okay. Um, I'm going to try to rest just because I can. And just because I want to keep dust claps as healthy as possible. I think we should be able to live this, right? Easy, my boys. Easy. We're going to rest it up here. We're going to rest it up. I'm not going to stall him out. I really can't do anything else with my Dusclops. Obviously, because of the Nightshade. So, um... Let me see. How do I play this? Honestly, I think we wait for a little bit. So, we're just going to... We're going to stay in for two turns. So, we're listing down a little bit. It's really hot. It's getting hot. We should be able to take those easy... We're gonna we're gonna stay in for two turns to try to get it at least to yellow health, and then Berserk is gonna come in and finish the Snorlax. That's the plan. That's the initial plan here. I was gonna say I can go a it, but a it got knocked out, unfortunately. And then pressure is PP stalling also. So I feel like staying in for one more turn. We're gonna stay in for one last turn here. No, don't be that guy. Yeah, just to wake him up. Why not? Just to wake him up. Earthquake, not going to do anything. He was probably predicting the switch there. And rightfully so. Okay. I don't want to go in Berserker yet because he just revealed the Earthquake to me. Ah, uh, maybe I do, actually. I'll do it. I'm going to go Berserker here. And just, I'm going to just... I'm just going to finish this thing off. He doesn't have any recovery. I should be able to take the rest of his Pokemon out. Um kind of easily i don't want to count my chickens before they hatch again but okay sir awesome 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 that does a lot of damage more than i wanted it to to be honest but we should be able to knock it out with a close combat and if he goes appleton next we're gonna hit it with a close combat also we knock it out okay good job first good job I think it's still valuable to an extent, to be honest. I think it's still valuable to an extent. So I think we're gonna, we might switch out next turn. And two Hattering. Appleton comes in next. Honestly then, I'm just gonna stay in close combat. That's what I'm gonna do. This thing is probably bulky as heck, but still. It's bulky as heck, I thought so. It's still half damage, which is pretty good in my opinion. Earthquake. This is a physical Appleton then. Nevertheless, I think Hadrian should be able to take it from here. And Salazzle. So I'm going to go Salazzle first because that's the safest play. 
And then, um, I don't need, I don't think it's necessary to set up a nasty plot. Where are, we're just gonna hit it with a, it's really bulky in the special side is the thing. I'm gonna sludge wave here. I'm gonna sludge wave. There you go. Knock it out. Beautiful. And then Raichu's gonna come in next. If it's Scarf, um, yes and no, we're in trouble. Kind of not really, because if we are a salt vested with Adarine here. Well, let's see what you got, Coco. That's what I call my little Aria, Coco. Um, all right. We're gonna sludge wave. It's the strongest stab attack. We're gonna sludge wave here. And it's a, it's a, it should be a wrap. It's a two-hand knockout, but it's a wrap. Psychic is gonna knock us out, rightfully so. And then, um, I think Dusclops comes and takes it out. No, Adarine is. We're gonna do it that way. We are gonna do it that way. No need a Dynamax, I feel like. So we are just going to hit it with a Dazzling Gleam since it's sad. You're Dynamaxing. I like your thinking. Should I be nervous? Yes and no. To be honest, yes and no. Interesting cry, Coco. Interesting cry. And then he moves first, obviously. A steel spike? I was not expecting that. I got too cocky and lost. Does me well, right? I think I deserve to lose because of that. Wow. I'm so upset. Are all my max moves? Honestly, I'm not even a high Dynamax level, so I can't do anything. Max Phantasm is a 100% base power, so we're gonna try it. If I lose this, I'm not even gonna be mad. I will be a little bit upset, but I won't be mad. I won't be mad. I'm not even, oh, I am Dynamaxing. It's gonna come down to literally whether or not I can live an attack. Giant Dusk. When was the last time you guys seen this? Outside of a ma max rate then. Okay. We are taking that all day, boys. It has Surge Surfer, so now it's gonna outspeed everything. Wow, okay. Max Phantasm, please knock this out. That's not good. Honestly, it's not good. So what I'm gonna do here is just Max Guard. No! My Drift messed me up! We lost this. We lost this. This is what I get for using that, um, the Joy-Con. We live! It's a crit! And you switch the terrains. Honestly, you should have gone for a lightning. It might have done the trick. That is the kind of thing the people in the stadium want to see. My hair, look at it. It's nowhere near how it was earlier. I cannot believe I won that. I did not deserve to win that. Especially after that misclick there. I'm My heart is pounding. That's going to be it for that battle, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you let me know who the MVP, most valuable Pokemon of this battle was. I feel like it's Dusknor. I feel like it's Dusknor. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. I will see you guys next time. It's your boy, Daddy Math, signing off.